Frankie, different cover today. A little bit thicker, kind of an in-betweener. And I'm mostly getting her in here just for the whole handling aspect of it again. Birds will be a bonus, but yesterday or two days ago, the cover we were in was a little bit more open than this. This is a little bit thicker. It's got pockets of a uh, little bit denser stuff. And I'm thinking she's going to do well in this one. Come up. Come on. Don't worry about me. There you go. Go find some birds. Learn to adjust to the cover, get comfortable, and find some birds, girl. She's a close worker. One tip is with these young dogs, they get intimidated by the cover. Don't worry about making them come back to you or stuff. You try to go where they're going. Okay, you try to go where they're going. Don't make them come looking for you. you push your pace a little bit. It's kind of hard to film because she's staying real close. But she's hitting it hard. You get in a couple birds in this thick stuff, she'll be punching out. There we go. Oops. Pardon my camera, I just gotta turn my watch on. Had a girl, Frankie. Here we go. Now she's out a good 40, 50 yards. Now she's getting out. I did not hear a bird go, but she sure is acting like she might have popped one in here. I probably should have worn my hearing aids. Yeah, there goes one. That was a grouse. I can't see. No. She is further away from where it was. It was right over here. So, I think she might have got into some a little earlier. Got her pepped up. She's bouncing around going hard now. And that one left out of a tree when I walked here. So, good learning moment. Again, don't focus so much on the point, okay? Get them into birds so they get out from underneath you. We can tighten up on that other stuff later on. Good girl. Okay. She didn't catch that bird when she was in here, okay? As long as they don't come back to you with one in their mouth, which it's pretty rare that they're gonna, okay? Your, uh, these birds are teaching them. Look at her hunt now. This cover's just as thick in here as that other one was. She got into one bird. Boom. Doing good, Frank. Look at her hunt. 
She's hunting now. She looks good. Come on. That was some hard shit for you to walk through, huh? That's why the birds are here. Huh? There'll be more. My mentor once told me, and I believe he's right, you can take it out of them, but once you do, you can't put it back in them. So, this dog has not had a hunting season yet. Let the dog get into birds. Keep your mouth shut. Okay? You try to control a dog too much when it's young, and you worry about that point too much, and you're going to have a dog that hunts right underneath your feet. It's going to look to you for every direction to mankind. Okay? It's not going to be out looking for birds. It's going to be a damn robot. And then once you worry about that pointing so much, everything it's going to do is it's going to fall false point, false point, false point, false point, false point. Because you put too much pressure on it. Don't ruin a dog like that. Okay, Frankie points fine. She points in the yard. She points in the field. Okay, we're making a transition to birds here. But what's more important to me is that this dog gets out from underneath my feet for his owner because a pointing dog is supposed to what, right? Come on, somebody tell me. I know you know this. You're supposed to go out and find birds, right? This nice back in here. We're right on the back edge of it, Frank. We're right on the back edge, dude. We're gonna find some more birds back here. This is one of the better spots though for me because it's been pretty wet most of the year. I think she's doing outstanding, given this cover. Got a point? Yep, up! Right here. Okay, look at that. Likes to work to the front. And once this cover comes down, her range will expand a little bit more. But she got out 60 yards on me in here, which is really, really good. I want her doing that. I want her at 100. I want her out looking for birds. And then, uh-oh. Fuck, bum, pick your shit up. And then after that... And they get a little older, and you start slowly taking it out of them. Pick that head up, Frank. Pick your head up. He birdie again. That's why that head went down. That's a telltale sign with a puppy. Okay. Unless they're bred to have a super high head, which a lot of them should be. But what happens? She's getting into birds. Okay, she's going deep. Um, if you're watching your puppy work, give up. If you're watching your if you're watching your puppy work, okay, and you see, watch for them to get birdie. It kind of might strike a little bit of a point or kind of pick up the pace zigzagging or whatnot. Well, another telltale thing also is their while they're picking that kind of stuff up, their head goes down, okay? And when their head goes down, same thing, right? Now, what that correlates to in the grouse woods, right, with the head down, trucking a little hard like that, is bumping birds, okay? 
Man, when they bump those birds, they learn to bring their head up. Then it starts to come together, okay? General rule of thumb with these dogs. First season you hunt with one is magic. When they're like five, six months old, they look like damn finished dogs. And then, let's go Frank. Second season, they second and third season, they kind of slip back, come apart a little bit on you. You tighten them up, and then from there forward, you're good. So, take your time with them. Ooh, better not be any grown hornets in here. Wrong place to step. Up, up! Yep, up! Come on. Don't make a big deal about it when they get turned around because they will in the grouse woods. Just get their attention, start heading to where you're gonna go. Well, this looks like it'd be a nice drumming log in here, eh? No poop on it. That's disappointing. That looks like that would be a nice one, though. Take a still shot of that bad boy. Fucker. All right, I'm gonna cut off so I can focus on Frankie a little bit, but I just wanted to give his, his owner a little bit of a video update here in the woods and also give you guys a little, at least my tips anyhow. They might not mean shit to you, but for what it's worth, they work for me and maybe to help you. I hope it does. So thanks for tuning in. See ya.